Hello guys, this is Edgar from SpokenLithuanian.com and today we have a very simple but very important lesson. How to make a question. Like if you have any kind of sentence, affirmative sentence, and you just want to make it into a question, how do you do it? And the answer in Lithuanian language is actually pretty simple. There's a simple way to do it and I'm about to show you how to do it, okay? So... But first of all, if you need more phrases, if you need more words in Lithuanian language that you want to learn, some basic phrases that you can use on the street, uh, I've created this PDF and audiobook that you can find on the link that you can see on the screen, www.spokenlithuanian.com slash 117 phrases. You can also find the link somewhere around the video. So if Lithuanian language is what you need right now, so this is the small PDF and audiobook for you. Uh, so be sure to press the link. Um, join my email list and you will get your free audiobook directly to your email okay so if you haven't done that yet be sure to do it and let's get back to our lesson today so first of all today we're only going to look at a couple of verbs for us to just understand how to make it work okay so the first verb would be to be right to be is bute bute in lithuanian language bute is the infinitive form of to be okay boot now i am you are and she is okay let's look just only at the singular uh and for now only at the present tense okay ashaso right that is i am you are to esse to esse she is ye ira ye ira so that is ashaso to esse Ye ira, ye ira, right? Okay, so this is an affirmative sentence in a present tense, okay? Now, if I want to make it into a question, as in, am I, are you, is she, right? In English language, what we do is we just switch the um, verb to be and the, the the subject of the sentence and this is what we get right am i are you is she now the only thing that we do in lithuanian language is we just add the word ar in front of it just in front of the affirmative sentence we don't switch anything up right we don't make any sort of adjustments right usually and we just add ar, and that's how we get a question. That means that ashesu means I am. Ar ashesu means am I. It's already a question. Ar tu esse. Ar tu esse. That means are you. Ar ye ira. Ar ye ira. That means is she. Is she. Okay, we're taking only the she um, pronoun, right? Is she. Ar ye ira. The only thing that we do is just we add R. It's that simple, right? Only add the R. R, right? Let's look at other verbs. For example, to do, right? To do. That means darite or padarite. Now, the difference is that to do, if you had to translate it directly, it would basically be darite. Darite. It means to do. Padarite actually implies that something is already done. It implies some sort of a ending to that action of doing, some sort of a result, okay? So um, it's especially important if you're talking about the past tense, that something's been done, then you're using padarite, padarite version especially, okay? So to do, darite or padarite. For example, I do it, you do it. I do it, you do it. I do it, you do it would be Ashtai daro. Tai that means it. Ashtai daro. Tu tai darai. Tu tai darai. Let's not focus on the specific endings, right, of the verbs. This is not what we're trying to learn in this particular lesson. This is assuming that you already know the affirmative sentence that you want to say and now you want to make it into a question. So, for example, you can already guess, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, how we will make this into a question. Did I, do I do it? Do you do it? 
ar tu tai darai? Ar aš tai darau? Ar tu tai darai? Of course, do I do it? The ar aš tai darau question is kind of a weird one because we rarely ask ourselves whether I do it or not, but, but you can ask that. It's a grammatically correct sentence. It's a perfectly normal sentence. Um, do you do it? Ar tu tai darai? Once again, we just only add ar at the beginning. Ar tu tai darai? Ar tu tai darai? Right? Good. For example, let's now go into past tense. You did it. And let's make it into a question. Did you do it? Right? You did it. Did you do it? And that would be tu tai darai? Or, as I said, pa darai? Right? Because if I said tu tai darai, it means that it actually took a bit of a longer time. I was just doing something. That would be like I, you were doing something. It would be more like a past continuous tense in English uh, language, right? But you did it means it, it implies that something was done. That would be padarei. Tu te padarei. And now if I want to make it into a question, I'm only adding ar. And I'm saying ar tu te padarei. Ar tu te darei. That would be uh, were you doing it, right? Ar tu te darei. Ar tu te padarei. I'm only adding ar in front of it, okay? Yeah, ar tu te darei. Ar tu te padarei. You will do it. Let's take future sentence, right? Future tense. You will do it. Will you do it, right? In English language, the will goes in front of the uh, of the sentence, right? Tu te padarisi. Padarisi. We have the ending for future tense now. As I said, let's not focus on the endings. I will make a separate lesson for that. For now, just try to make questions from the sentences we already have, right? Tu te padarisi. Again, I want to make it into a question. Ar tu te padarise? Ar tu te padarise? I just added ar at the beginning of the sentence, right? Ar tu te padarise? You can do it. Let's make it into a longer, with where we have two verbs, right? We have the modal verb can. You can do it. Tu gali te padarite, right? Tu gali te padarite. Tu gali te padarite. Gali means you can. Padarite. We have already um, infinitive version of of uh, of to do, right? Because it's the second verb. The second verb in Lithuanian language uh, is usually in infinitive form. That's why we have the ending te over here. Tu gali te padarite. Padarite. To do it. To do it. Right? To do it. It's just that in English language we don't, after can, we don't use te. But it's still like an uh, infinitive also form, infinitive version. Tu gali te padarite. Can you do it? How would you say that? Can you do it? How would you make this question? Of course, it's ar tu gali te padarite. Ar tu gali te padarite. You just add the ar in front of the sentence. Ar tu gali te padarite. And now you have a perfect question, right? Ar tu gali te padarite. So there you have it. This is how we make a simple question in Lithuanian language. If we want to make it from the affirmative, from the positive sentence, right? Just we add ar and now we have a question. Yeah, so this is the simple way of doing a question in Lithuanian language. Now, in the next lesson, I will be doing more complex questions when we use question words like how, when, what. So I will be doing a lesson where I am explaining how to use these um and, and what are these question words in Lithuanian language? So as I said in the beginning, if you haven't downloaded my audio and PDF book that I've created, this is a perfect tool for you to help just get the basic uh, phrases of Lithuanian language that you may need on the street if you're trying to talk to somebody. So if you haven't done that already, press the link somewhere around this video. You will find it and download it. Join my email newsletter. Uh, if you have any questions, please be sure to write it in the comments. If you have any suge suggestions, I'm open to everything, okay? So uh, thank you for watching this lesson. I hope it was useful. I hope it was interesting. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.